Astronomer D'Antonio says he was invited on a U.S. submarine by the government for the work that he did and was witness to the USO Project Fast Mover. And back down the 18 feet to the control room down below, and now I'm surrounded by just machinery and so forth. So anyway, um, I was trying to get over my seasickness by sitting in the sonar section, and the sonar side is, the control room is here, Okay, and off to the right side is a little tiny aisle, and that aisle is where the sonars are. And basically, uh, I was trying to just zone out and get rid of my seasickness. And all of a sudden, I'm jolted awake by the kid uh, calling the con, the, the command, and said, con sonar, con sonar, fast mover, fast mover. And I woke up thinking, what, what, what the heck? We're going to be killed. Uh, we're going to die. I'm going to die out here by a torpedo or something. Or something. Just to me, I was thinking fast mover meant torpedo. And the executive officer comes around and he sits over the kid's shoulder and says, what do you got? I couldn't hear everything he said, the, the bearing, the range, you know, you know, where it was basically. Uh, but when it came to the speed, I leaned forward on the edge of my seat. And when they had XOS, how fast is it moving? And the kid said, several hundred knots, sir. And the executive officer just said, okay, log it and dog it. The Guardian reported in a separate incident, a U.S. submarine was struck by a USO in the South China Sea. The article goes on to say a nuclear-powered U.S. Navy attack submarine has struck an object while submerged in the international waters in the South China Sea. In a brief statement on Thursday that provided few details of the incident, U.S. Pacific Fleet said the USS Connecticut remained in safe and stable condition. There were no life-threatening injuries and the sub was still fully operational. says he's spoken with several U.S. intelligence agents and has been told that the best data is in the water. It's the NOAA, uh, Oceanic and, oh God, National Administration. Oceanic, yeah, it's the, the same, sorry, the same administration that uh, film uh, caught on uh, data that blip in the 90s. That was twice the gotcha. size. Right, yeah. And, and mate, I have had like busload sized hints from people in the intelligence community. That's where we should start looking. And the, the best place to find and detect and track the phenomenon is in the water. Okay, now and, that the, you, and that the best data on that is in the water. I'd love to give, and I, I and I don't think there's any coincidence. There's no coincidence that the former director of the NOAA, and I was gobsmacked that he did this. He tweet, uh, he, he he spoke recently in an interview, and I tweeted what he said. He actually raised the possibility in an interview that he did that that what we're talking about here is extraterrestrial life. And again, you know, I just waited for somebody in the mainstream media to pick this up, thinking, you know, surely, surely somebody's going to pick up the fact that the former director of the NOAA has just written an article with Avi Lobb asserting right, that you know, a possible explanation for this is extraterrestrial. And um, it was in the hill, uh, dot com, yep. and the article was December 19th, Will We Soon Rewrite Textbooks on Our Place in the Universe? And it was Rear Admiral Retired Tim Gallaudet, Gallaudet. I apologize to Tim if I pronounced his name wrong. But basically, he, he said, we are in the midst of a discovery of even greater magnitude than those in space. And incredibly, it is what many regard as the modern icon of quack science, unidentified objects, traditionally labeled UFOs, then this line, that may represent technological equipment manufactured by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. Whoa! Yeah, that's... <laughs> as a birthday gift, my brother named a star after me this month. I'll leave the information in the description box. 
please make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated for all new content that's coming out. Thank you for watching. Take care.